Hi everyone, welcome back to Grow Your Groceries with Callie Kim. Whatever you do, when you're growing your seedlings indoors, don't skip this step or your plants could die. Now, you're growing your seedlings indoors, I know you're very excited to get them outside after your last frost date so you can start growing and harvesting your own veggies. However, inside here, they don't have rain, they don't have wind, they don't have sun, you're taking good care of them, you're really babying them. If you put them too soon outside, they're like little babies. They're not ready to deal with all the elements and they could die. So the key is you got to do it gradually. You got to make that transition over about a week's period of time. It's a process called hardening off. I'm going to teach you how to do it today in three simple steps. The hardening off process acclimates your seedlings to the outdoors so they're ready to deal with the elements. That way you have nice, strong, healthy seedlings when you're ready to plant them outside. Now the first step in the hardening off process is to check your last frost date. Head over to almanac.com, they've got a great frost date calculator there. Pop in your zip code to get the date for your area. It'll be different for everyone. Now, what you wanna do though, your warm weather vegetables to be planted outside after your last frost date. Cool weather vegetables can be planted out right around your last frost date or a week before. So you wanna start the hardening off process about a week before that. Step two is you want to choose a spot for your first hardening off day. Now ideally you could start this process on a cloudy day, but definitely find a spot in your garden where it's in the shade. We've got an umbrella here shading this table. Remember, this is their very first forage out into the great outdoors. So you're going to leave them out here for about an hour just to get them used to the elements. If you see any signs of stress or wilting to your plants, or if the weather gets cold or super windy, you definitely want to take them inside. So leave them outside for about an hour and then pop them back indoors under grow lights. Now if you work full time, you can start this process on the weekend or on a Friday late afternoon when you get home from work. On your back to work day, choose a spot in the garden that gets morning sun and afternoon shade and you should be good to go. Now a little tip what I like to do, because sometimes the birds like to come and pick out my seedlings, is I put this tool fabric over my little seedling trays outdoors to protect them from the critters. Step three covers day two of the hardening off process. We're lengthening the time that they're outside here on day two. So we're going to leave them in the shade for about an hour or so and then place them over in the, in the sun. So get a little bit of sunshine and get used to the elements out here. And then after being out here in the sunshine for about an hour or so, we're going to take them inside and pop them under the grow lights again. Step four covers days three through seven of the hardening off process. And you want to gradually increase the hours of sunlight a day that your plants have. And make sure you keep an eye on them. Again, if there's any changes in weather or if they start to droop, you want to move them back into the shade. And don't forget to set a timer on your phone so you don't forget to move your plants indoors. Now, after they've been outdoors all day long, you want to start putting them outdoors at night until eventually over a week to 10 days, they're in the elements 24 seven. Now, always keep an eye on the weather though, because if you're going to have a frost at night, you want to bring your little baby seedlings indoors so you don't get frost damaged. So once your plants are outside 24 seven, they're ready to go out in the garden. That's such an exciting day. Now, remember your warm weather vegetables, wait till after your last frost when the nighttime temps are in the fifties and sixties, but your cool weather veggies can go out much earlier, even a week or two before your last frost, they can take cold temperatures and really thrive in the early cool weather of spring. Now remember, don't skip this step or your plants will die. Be such a shame if you put all the work into starting your seeds indoors and growing them and nurturing them, then you rush them outside too soon and that happens to you. So take the time, it's well worth it. Just make sure you do it gradually and you will have beautiful, strong, healthy seedlings to plant out in the garden very soon. The whole process is written down for you in my book, Organic Gardening for Everyone. So if you prefer to read, grab a copy and you'll find it right in here all written down for you. If you haven't started growing your groceries yet, jump in with us. We've got a few more uh, videos left in this series before we plant our veggies outside. You can grab your spring garden seed collection. It's 20% off right now with the code Grow Veggies. Now the cool thing is until tomorrow, February 8th, with your purchase you also get a free red flower seed collection. So you have more pollinators in your garden. It's five varieties in here, a $9 value that you get with your order. Comment below, let me know what stage you're at in your seedling process. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.